Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we're going to be reviewing the games from uh, the past NA qualifiers for the World Cup. So we had a pretty straightforward run until the semifinals where we played the second IX team. Obviously I'm on IX now, so the main one. But uh, we played against IX circles, so we're going to be covering those games. Now in these qualifiers, it was me second and crying. Bobby and Jack are both on the team too. I'm not really going to explain how it's going to work because... <laughs> I'll leave that for David, I guess, but um, yeah, we're just going to be covering the games. They're pretty straightforward, and we'll start off with Brawl Ball and Penalty Kick. All right, guys, so the bans for this set are, um, they banned BB, and then we banned, we banned Jackie. We banned Jackie um, literally every single match. It's just really annoying to deal with, so we kind of figured they'd play a Tick or a Barley, uh, just because it's a thrower map, and like, Luki will play throwers whenever he can. Um, so you can see I went Brock kind of which is a really strange pick here We could score here, but I don't know what crying was doing there. Um, so he kind of like <laughs> He butchered the pass I could have like passed it back to him and he could have scored But uh, that was just kind of bad on our part, but we do have position and second does have his supers So Tooney missed positions. He's the only one that can stop second there uh, But it looked like it was gonna be we were in a really good spot to score either way So you can see Tooney's gonna do the right thing this time and he's gonna go on the side with Luki So I can't just like jump on him have to play it a little more passive But Tooney does see an opportunity for a goal So I think if he went for the double stun he could have got a goal But he kind of like went for more walls instead of just uh, kills um, which it, I don't think it was the right move there, but it I could see like it was really close So crying did a really good job pinching over in time and uh, it was a good like play from Tooney It was just like a little unlucky, I guess um, But I do have my super at this point So I get a really nice super off and all three rockets hit Kang and breaks the wall and crying can just tap it in All right game number two. So we kind of figured Luki would just stay on thrower um, we didn't really anticipate the Rosa pick, but it doesn't really change much for us because we do have M's for the tank and M's and Max, they synergize really well if you didn't know. Um, so even though it's not like the best M's map, second's getting like really good value right now though. He should be getting poked out by uh, their Mr. P and the Barley. But Toonie's also giving me really good value too and that's gonna enable me to get my super. Uh, not really the best super, only ro one rocket hits. I guess Crying's there to finish him off. But um, I probably should have like just saved it for the middle wall here. Uh, I just wanted to like break open one side so Luki's kind of useless on it. But uh, he will use a super just to spare uh, space everything out a little bit. And second's going to go in and get some really good damage there. He'll actually just chain supers. So we have them kind of like spawn trapped again. They don't really have the best comp to get out of a spawn trap. So I think... Okay, no. We kind of rush it and we could have scored there. I think we were a little more patient, but... Uh, that's one of the main things with this map, like, it's hard to score, so a lot of people, like, think they can score, and then they'll rush it, and then they'll just kind of lose their positioning, and you can see we did that there, so I'll get taken out too, um, unfortunately I did stand in the Barley Super, and it, got, it hit me twice, so Toonie thinks he can store here, but he doesn't have the HP, because he doesn't have the shield, if he did have the shield, he could get it, I got a pretty good Brock Super there as well, Really good value, and I'll just jump over on Luki to like just push him back a little bit since none of us can touch him uh, when he's behind that wall currently. And I don't want to break that wall, obviously, it's just in front of our net. But because of my Brock Super, I am like one shot off of Super uh, just because he got really good value. And I also hit Luki once, I think. So I, I was waiting for him to pop around the corner there, I knew he would do that. Um, and then I told my teammates just to get ready to score, and they were ready. We're off to a really good start again. 40 seconds left, and we just have to hold it down. The map's like getting more broken, so it's definitely in our favor. Second's gonna go really aggressive um, with his gadget and gets really good value off this. Um, I'm telling Crying, just get the ball to second. Doesn't matter if we die. And he does that, and we'll take game number two and the first set. All right, guys, set number two is Siege. Um, so we kind of... <laughs> We were like not trolling, but it's, it didn't, I don't know. I never really felt like we were in danger of losing. Um, and I think my teammates kind of had the same vibe. So I should have jumped over there hundred percent and I could have killed at least Kang. I think I had one rocket. Kind of wish I used rocket number four for this one. Um, and you can just see, I like miss my gadget button. So I shoot backwards, but, uh, I do end up getting him, but we are going to be on defense for the first bot. So that kind of sucks. Um, and that Mr. P Porter is just going to be so annoying for me because it takes literally all my shots. Uh, like it's like almost 7,000 HP, right? So it, it takes like a lot to get rid of and you can't just like ignore it. So 
Uh, good roll from Slash there to take me out. And we have pretty good defense, though, with Max and Daryl. So they didn't really get... I mean, they got like 10 13%. But uh, really good roll from second. Slash is going to counter it with his own roll. Crying's going to go in. Fortunately, Luki just stays alive. Um, and then I kind of butchered that. I should have, like, killed him for sure. Um, but I will get taken out. And they kind of, like, just team wipe us. And we did get a few bolts. Second's going to go in and grab this one, hopefully. But we were we're not really in the best position i should have used my super there on kang uh just to get more position but i'll use it on the middle wall which it's okay but getting the kill there definitely would have been the right thing uh crying just can't take out kang unfortunately and we're gonna get team wiped uh so just because it's the last siege and it's like so close in bolts uh there's not really anything we can do now at this point unless we get like a really fast team wipe um which it's very unlikely especially with our comp uh they pretty much like auto win this because we have no damage on the safe so they're gonna do a good job just holding down mid control and there's not really anything we can do at this point so this game's over um i think i'm just gonna like skip it because you know this game's over so they played well and uh we do lose the first siege game all right guys game number two um so <laughs> just because the last game it was pretty winnable we thought we could maybe like pull it off this comp again so we're just gonna try it one more time they switched their comp up a little bit so you can see that instead of the daryl they went with uh the max and also uh the m's is new instead of barley i think i kind of like this comp better than the last comp they used i don't know but uh we are gonna lose the first robot and just my teammates are both gonna get taken out there and gonna be tough for us to get back mid control just because look at that like mr p porter 7000 hp and then they have an m's just to like spam us out um and then the max is also really spammy too so they can spawn trap us so well with their comp we do have a daryl so we can roll in but again they have the m's and i'm just gonna like try breaking walls open a little bit but unfortunately that one wall is just gonna stay which is really annoying um second's gonna roll in but he'll just get uh He'll get teamed up on by Kang and Luki and just kind of destroyed. Crying's going to do a good job though and actually like trade a kill on Slash. So I'm going to look to pinch Luki with him and see if we can make something happen here. We all land a few shots. Um, second probably didn't need to roll in there. It would have been better if he just stayed and got the bolt that Kang was on. Um, but we're just trying to like take out this porter and it's so tanky. Like it's, <laughs> it's so much HP. I really, I, I don't know. I like Mr. P's first star power a lot, but in some modes, like, the extra HP on the porter is just so annoying. So, I'm unfortunately going to, like, walk into the M's, and that's going to stop my regen, and then Slash will just go and finish me off. Um, but it's 3-3, and, I mean, our defense has been fine up to this point, but uh, there's just been, like, no mid control. So, they've done a really good job just holding down mid, and I definitely don't think we'll ever be playing Brock on nuts and bolts again <laughs> all right guys so set number three is gonna be on snake prairie not really a big fan of the meta here especially since it became like just tar gadget or sorry bow gadget with tara you can see like they gave up the mid star way too easily so they have to come into our side right now so we can kind of judge how close they are to their supers by how close like we are to their ours so uh crying's gonna get it but they all just kind of like went for supers at first, but we did get that first star. Um, second, not having his gadget here is pretty important. So the Leon also is really unusual. I don't really recommend it. I almost traded with Toonie. I, I think I would have traded with him if uh, Slash didn't pinch me. So they are going to get their lead back. And second, second should get that kill, uh, but that's okay. It's his uh, first game on Piper, and I think the tournament, actually. So Piper's one of those brawlers I feel like you need to warm up a little bit. So he's going to do a good job and just hit Toonie there as well. And he's hitting his shots now, which is really good. So they're going to use their tower gadget. We'll use ours to counter, and Crying is going to get a really good pull. It looks like he pulled two people there, but one was just really the Leon clone. Um, but he will get a kill, and then I'll just put my mines on the right side. That way we can kind of know where they are and just um try to force them down the other side so we can just like group up and take them out like that so second's gonna get taken down pretty low um he did have his jump there so you do want to jump that but the leon caught him off guard and i guess he didn't have time to react but luckily he didn't have too too many stars on him so we still have a lead here slash does have his super um 
So he's going to go for a pull on the Piper with jump. So you never really want to do that. Um, but they're definitely going to go for second here. So Krang's just going to panic. Um, I'm yelling at second, get behind me, like a body block for you. I, I kill Kang and it was, it's such a messy game, but uh, we did end up winning. And I don't, I don't really think we played that well, but uh, we did end up winning that one. So that's all that matters. All right, guys, game number two. So you can see they got rid of the Leon this time. They have a Brock instead, which definitely more practical. So with the Leon, they only the only wall break they had, well, Tar Tara's wall break, but you're not going to use a Tara's wall break on like the grass here. So Krang's going to do an interesting strat and just go really aggro. So the only way that kind of works is if you know where their bow is that way they don't have vision of you so he saw where their bow was he was going for the mid star and he just went out and took out the bow gadget which is really good um they're gonna take out our bow gadgets so <sighs> it's kind of important to keep track of the bow gadgets because they're so like impactful on this map so i almost get taken out there um crying's gonna get a solo kill second's gonna get solo killed as well though so they are gonna get out with the lead so i'm just trying to get vision here and I wanted to go up and see where their bow gadget is. Kang's gonna do a good job just like break open that side of the map. I know there's mines over here, so I figured like nothing is really happening right now, so I'll just get rid of them. That way we don't have to worry about like accidentally stepping on them. Like people forget about bow mines, so always try to trigger them when you can, but I don't really recommend going for the last one. If I was Toonie, um, I'd just be camping like a little higher and just because I'm tripping the mines, I'd just be ready to pull me. Um, but it kind of lets me just get the mine for free. So 30 seconds, I wanted to get my super here, but unfortunately I can't, there's not enough time. So I build it up like a little bit and I'm a few shots off it. Uh, bow mines are really good, but you know, my vision's like just as important. So Krang's actually gonna miss his super. Slash is way out of position though, so that's gonna enable us to tie it up. Um, and then I'll hit my shots on Krang, or sorry, on Toonie and Krang, or seconds there to finish him off. So I could have dodged Slash, but Kang hits me with two really good shots on Brock. And, you know, it's tied at this point, so I'm telling second to, like, just let it be a draw, and then we can get them next time. So we're going to draw the second match. All right, guys. Game number two, part two. So we're going in with the same comp. They're going in with the same comp. They're going to put their bow thing right at the back, but we're all, like, playing for the middle star. They kind of... It's two versus three, so we kind of have priority, and they don't really have a piper, so I'm th I don't have to worry about getting, like, two shot with, like, one bow hit, too. So I can be more aggro and I'm just going for some, uh, I was, I wanted to take out the bow gadget, but it's like all the way in the back. So it wasn't worth it because I wasn't sure how close the Tara was to pull and Tara was very close. So if she hit me with like one or two cards, she could have just like got a pull on me and it would have given up our lead. So I think it was a good call to back off there. Um, they did take out our bow gadget. So we kind of know they're on the left side at this point and Dooney knows where I am. I kind of know where he is too because I do have vision. So, um, but you can see I'm playing it really close to the walls. That way, if he does pull me, I can just try hugging a wall and it won't really do anything. I can just like counter his uh, pull. So uh, the left side does get broken open and Crying is just standing ready with his pull. They're going to use the tar gadget. We'll just use ours to counter it. I'll get my mines out just so we can get some more vision. Hopefully some value. Second's trapped, so Krang's doing a really good job just going over there and pinching. Nice jump from Kang, otherwise that would have been a double kill. Slash is going to like trip my mind though, and I'll just solo kill him. So, good jump again from Kang, but Krang is going to be there to finish him off. Uh, so, second also hit a good shot, but we're off to a really good start this game. And then, second catches Slash out as well. Um, so he catches Toonie out and he almost gets Toonie as well. So second's playing really good this game. He's hitting a lot of his shots. Um, and we're just off to like such a good game so far. This game's been like really clean on our end. Uh, so second does get taken out, unfortunately, but we will just kind of like trade it back. And, uh, there's not really any way, like, unless the bow team wipes us, <laughs> there's just like no way we lose this. So we are going to take the bounty set pretty clean. All right, guys, so set number four is gem grab. Um, so it's on double swoosh, not really my favorite map. So you can see we have the same comp, except I'm bow mid, they're going bow lane, and they have a Mr. P mid, which I'm not really a huge fan of, honestly. Also, I think M's is such a strong lane here. Uh, it's just really, really good if you can like play it properly. So second's gonna go really aggro and just take out the bow gadget. Um, he does have to back off quite a bit, but that's fine. So. Kang knows that he's low HP and he's going to go for him, but I just go for like the mid and I'll take out Slash, steal all their gems, and then um, I'll get mines down 
on their middle wall area. So Kang is just going to misclick there, I guess. Like, there's no reason he would want to do that. So just give him the benefit of the doubt of the misclick. And Slash is just going to waste his Porter completely. I don't know why he put it up that high. So he's kind of done, like, two big misplays already in this game. But uh, my lanes are also doing really good. So second recovered really well after that first push. And he's just going to dominate his side at this point. We got my mines there. So I like I know they're going to forget about my mines. That's why even though they saw me put it like second was in a position where he's not going to let them just like trigger them. So I know they forgot about it and Kang's going to like trigger them all right now. So I was telling second like go get your super. But then uh, he like he was one shot. So I just finished him off. And we're just like destroying all their walls at this point. Um, but there's not really any risk of us losing this game. That's why I'm still like hanging around. Just the only like way we would lose is if we get pushed back too fast. Um, or if I like walk on bow mines or something like that. But I know where the mines are and I know Tara is not that close to pull. So we are going to take that game pretty cleanly. Alright guys, so this is the last game of the set potentially. Of the match, sorry. Um... It would be, it is a best of five, so if we win this, we do win the match, and we finish uh, first and second. Because first and second, like, auto-qualify, you don't have to play another game. You have to play a game if you lose the semis for uh, third, because the top three qualify. So, we're all gonna, like, go with the same comp. Second's gonna get taken out, but he does want to build up his super. Um, Crying is gonna get his super as well, so I'm just trying to push Luki back so we can, like, the right side's gonna be tough right now. Second gets a really good gadget use though, and um, I'm just gonna help him out with the tar thing because that's impossible for him to kill by himself. So he did a really good job with his gadget use there. It pretty much didn't give the tar any value back on her super, um, and that's gonna be huge because look where Slash placed his, or sorry, where Luki placed his uh, bow gadget. So the tar has got to get her super by herself pretty much at this point. Um, unfortunately, my mines they don't break. Uh, that middle wall and I see seconds getting like pinched over by Kang so I'm telling him to go over I'll go under and we get a really good pinch off and crying's gonna still kill Luki on the other side of things and now Slash is like out of position and he should just go back here but uh he thinks he can fight us a little bit so I think we do take him out here uh he is gonna like crying's gonna take out Luki and then Slash still doesn't want to go back so we'll take him out um <sighs> there's not really any risk though I guess none of us want to overextend for those gems um crying does get taken out unfortunately he triggered a bow mine um i'm just gonna keep luki back i don't want him to get my bow gadget um slash could get it right now if he wanted to honestly but he doesn't so second's gonna do a good job he'll kang kill kang and uh he will get the tar alt as well so we have like mid control at this point and kang is not close to a super at all because you can get any value and we also have countdown with me and second having the gems uh, so I'm telling second same thing that we did earlier if you want, but uh, we can honestly just back off because Tara isn't that close to pull There's no reason to like really go for any of it. Brian's just gonna solo kill um, Slash I'll get Luki and that's gonna be game. All right guys, that is gonna be it for today's video um, So the qualifiers they were pretty straightforward seconds obviously a big addition to our team We're just figuring out playing time and with everything um, but Definitely a good addition to our team. Uh, GG's to IX Circles, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.